with a very high official, I, I can't mention his name right now, maybe Northrop, to sell his country's tax receivables to a third party. 80 cents on the dollar. Excuse me, I have to leave. This is unacceptable. Please. Bill, Bill, no, I, I, I wouldn't be doing this if, it, if I didn't think it was worth Joe's time. No, don't trust me, trust Philip. Good things come in surprising ways. You never know, you never know, right? I mean, what, worst comes to worst, he kicks me out the door. No, worst comes to worst, he kicks me out the door. It is my job to keep people like you away. Don't you get that? Yes. So please, respect my position. Stop. Please. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to say. So I'll tell my partners that we had a good conversation. And we'll see what happens, okay? Thank you, Bill. Norman, the moderate rise and tragic fall of a New York fixer is a film that's as unusual and unexpected as its title. It stars Richard Gere, but it's Richard Gere in a way you've never seen him before. He plays, as the title says, a New York fixer, a businessman who doesn't really have anything to offer, but tries to make himself indispensable to various powerful people just by connecting them, by talking his way into potentially lucrative situations. Things are not going so well, but then Norman makes a connection. He befriends a man who becomes, three years later, Israel's prime minister. All of a sudden, this hustler, this fixer, has powerful connections. How this works out, what this does to Norman's life, what happens, in a sense, when some of your dreams come true, is the subject matter of this film. It's written and directed by Joseph Cedar. He's one of Israel's top filmmakers. He's been Oscar nominated twice for Beaufort and Footnote. This film is unexpected, it's amusing, it's poignant, it's something you haven't seen before. For the Los Angeles Times, this is Kenneth Turan.